Once upon a time in the enchanting world of Hollywood, a man named Red Buttons defied all odds and became a beloved star. Born Aaron C.H. Watt, this talented actor and comedian started his career as a busboy in a nightclub, where he got his big break by filling in for a missing entertainer. His infectious humor and warm personality quickly made him a favorite among audiences. Red Buttons appeared in numerous films and television shows, but it was his role in the 1957 film Sayonara that earned him critical acclaim and an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. He played the part of an American airman who falls in love with a Japanese woman, a controversial topic at the time. This groundbreaking performance showcased his versatility and range as an actor. Throughout his career, Red Buttons left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. He was a regular on the popular variety show The Ed Sullivan Show, and even had his own television series, The Red Buttons Show. His quick wit and humorous sketches brought joy to millions of people around the world. Red Buttons' legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. His ability to make people laugh and think about important issues set him apart from his peers. He was a true original, and his contributions to the world of entertainment will never be forgotten. Red Buttons was an American actor and comedian born Aaron C.H. Watt in 1919. He started his career in vaudeville and went on to appear in numerous films, TV shows, and Broadway productions. Some interesting facts about Red Buttons include his service as a radio operator in the U.S. Army during World War II and his friendship with Elvis Presley. Do you know any lesser known facts or anecdotes about Red Buttons that fascinate you? Is there a particular moment from one of his works that has had a lasting impact on you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Perhaps you recall his role in the film Sayonara, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1957. Or maybe you remember his comedy sketches and TV appearances, such as his variety show The Red Buttons Show in the 1950s and 60s. Whatever your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Red Buttons, please share it with us in the comments below. We're eager to learn more about the impact this talented actor had on his audiences. Stay tuned, as we'll be sharing many funny, shocking, and sad facts about Red Buttons in this video. So keep watching. Red Button, born Aaron C.H. Watt, was born in New York City to Jewish parents. His father worked as a taxi driver, and his mother was a housewife. As a child, Buttons was captivated by vaudeville performances, which inspired his interest in show business. He began his career at the age of 15, working as a candy butcher or ticket seller in a burlesque house, where he earned the nickname Red due to his red hair. Buttons' big break came when he was discovered by comedian and actor Eddie Cantor, who took him under his wing and helped him develop his comedic skills. Cantor became a mentor to Buttons, teaching him the ins and outs of the entertainment industry. In the 1940s, Buttons served in the United States Army during World War II, where he continued to perform and entertain his fellow soldiers. After the war, he returned to his career in show business, appearing in various stage productions and films. Throughout his career, Buttons was influenced by a variety of comedians and performers, including Cantor, Bob Hope, and Jack Benny. He was known for his quick wit and ability to ad lib, which he credited to his early exposure to vaudeville. In addition to his work in comedy, Buttons also had a successful career as a dramatic actor. He won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in the 1957 film Sayonara, and received critical acclaim for his performances in other films such as The Longest Day and Hatari. Overall, Red Buttons' upbringing in New York City, exposure to vaudeville, and mentorship from Eddie Cantor had a significant impact on his career as an actor and comedian. His ability to adapt to various roles and genres, as well as his quick wit and comedic timing, made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Red Buttons, born Aaron C.H. Watt on February 5, 1919, in New York City, had a humble beginning. His parents were Jewish immigrants from Russia. His father was a house painter, and his mother worked as a waitress. At a young age, Aaron started working to help support his family. He shined shoes and sold newspapers, eventually earning the nickname Red for his red hair and the buttons he wore on his shirt instead of a tie. Red's interest in show business began when he was a child. 
he would often sneak into the nearby National Theater to watch vaudeville acts. At the age of 15, he dropped out of school to pursue a career in entertainment. He began performing in burlesque shows and worked his way up to becoming a stand-up comedian. In 1941, Red changed his name to Red Buttons and got his big break when he was hired as a comedian on the popular radio show The Rise of the Goldbergs. His career took off from there, and he became a household name in the 1950s with his own television show, The Red Button Show. Red's career spanned over six decades, and he appeared in numerous films and television shows. He won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in the 1957 film Sayonara. Red's ability to make people laugh and his talent for acting made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Red Buttons passed away on July 13, 2006, but his legacy lives on. He will always be remembered for his contributions to the world of entertainment and his ability to bring joy to people's lives. Red Buttons, born Aaron C.H. Watt, discovered his passion for entertaining at a young age. When he was just 11 years old, he started working as a red button operator in a nightclub, pushing the button to signal the band when it was time for them to play. It was there that he first fell in love with the energy and excitement of live performance. He began performing comedy and singing in the nightclub and soon caught the attention of a vaudeville performer who offered to take him on the road. Red dropped out of school and joined the vaudeville circuit, performing in small towns across the country. Despite facing many challenges and setbacks, Red's determination and talent eventually paid off. He made his Broadway debut in 1942 and went on to appear in numerous Broadway shows and Hollywood films. He won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1957 for his role in Sayonara. Red's passion for performing never waned. He once said, I love what I do. I always have. I get to make people laugh and forget their troubles for a while. And that's a great feeling. Throughout his long and successful career, Red Buttons remained humble and grateful for the opportunities he had been given. He once said, I'm just a kid from the Lower East Side who got lucky. I never forget that. Red Buttons passed away in 2006, but his legacy as a talented and beloved performer lives on. His passion for entertaining and his commitment to making people laugh continue to inspire new generations of performers. At the 79th Annual Academy Awards in 27, Red Buttons received a special tribute as part of the In Memoriam segment, honoring his significant contributions to the film industry. One of his most memorable roles was in the war film The Longest Day, where he starred alongside five other Academy Award winners and 11 nominees. Red Buttons' portrayal of PVT. John Steele in The Longest Day was a standout performance, showcasing his acting skills and earning him a place among some of the industry's most talented actors. The film featured an all-star cast, including Sean Connery, Henry Fonda, Edmund O'Brien, Rod Steiger, and John Wayne, as well as notable nominees such as Richard Burton, Robert Mitchum, and George Siegel. In addition to his work in film, Red Buttons was also recognized for his contributions to other areas of the arts. He was honored with the Israel Cultural Award and an annual fellowship in his name by the Israel Cancer Research Fund. These accolades highlight his impact beyond the world of film and his dedication to supporting cultural and scientific initiatives. Red Button's legacy continues to resonate with audiences and his work remains a testament to his talent and dedication. His contributions to the film industry and beyond have left a lasting impact and his performances continue to captivate and inspire new generations of fans. Red Buttons, born Aaron C.H. Watt, faced many challenges on his journey to becoming a successful actor. Born into a poor family in New York City, he experienced financial struggles early on. To help support his family, he started working at a young age, selling newspapers and shining shoes. Despite these hardships, he never lost his passion for entertaining. When he began his career in show business, Red Buttons encountered skepticism from the industry. At the time, there were few opportunities for actors who didn't fit the traditional leading man mold. Red Buttons was short and had a distinctive voice, which made it difficult for him to find roles. However, Red Buttons refused to let these obstacles hold him back. He developed a unique comedic style, incorporating physical humor and quick wit. This helped him stand out in a crowded field and eventually led to his own television show, The Red Buttons Show. 
Red Buttons also found creative solutions to the financial struggles he faced early in his career. He often took on multiple jobs, working as a waiter or bartender in between acting gigs. He also invested in real estate, using his earnings to buy properties that he could rent out or sell for a profit. Despite the challenges he faced, Red Buttons remained resilient and determined. He continued to work in show business for over six decades, appearing in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. His legacy as a talented actor and comedian continues to inspire aspiring performers today. Red Button, born Aaron C.H. Watt, was an accomplished actor with a career spanning several decades. In one of his final film appearances, he played Arnie Jordan in The Story of Us. This romantic comedy, released in 1999, was his last full-length feature film. Another notable role for Red Buttons was in the war epic The Longest Day, where he portrayed PBT, John Steele. Despite being considered too old for the part of a paratrooper, Buttons' performance was highly regarded. The film, released in 1962, depicted the D-Day invasion of Normandy during World War II. In The Poseidon Adventure, a disaster film released in 1972, Red Buttons starred as Martin. This star-studded production boasted a cast of five Academy Award winners, including Gene Hackman, Ernest Borgnine, Shelley Winters, Jack Albertson, and Red Buttons, as well as one Oscar nominee, Arthur O'Connell. Throughout his career, Red Buttons demonstrated his versatility and talent in a variety of film roles, leaving a lasting impact on the industry. Red Buttons, born Aaron C.H. Watt, experienced several breakthrough moments throughout his career as an actor and comedian. In the 1940s, he gained popularity as a comic on Broadway and in nightclubs, leading to his own radio show, The Red Buttons Program. In 1952, Red's career reached new heights when he appeared on the television show The Ed Sullivan Show over 15 times, which helped him become a household name. His performance in the 1955 play say, Darling earned him a Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Play. One of Red's most significant film roles was in the 1957 drama Sayonara, where he played an Air Force sergeant who befriends a Japanese woman. His performance earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, marking a pivotal moment in his career. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, Red continued to work in film and television, earning critical acclaim for his roles in movies such as Hatari, the longest day, and they shoot horses, don't they? Red's ability to make people laugh and his dramatic range made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. His peers, critics, and collaborators often praise his talent and impact on the industry. Actor and comedian Sid Caesar once said, Red was a great comedian and a wonderful actor. He had a unique style that made him stand out in any role he played. Red Button's career spanned over six decades and his contributions to the entertainment industry continue to resonate with audiences today. His breakthrough moments showcase his versatility and talent as a performer, leaving a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. Red Buttons, born Aaron C.H. Watt, was an actor of Russian Jewish and Polish Jewish descent. He is best known for his role as Joe Kelly in the movie Sayonara alongside Miyoshi Yumeki, who also won an Oscar for her performance. Red Buttons and Miyoshi Yumiki's performances in Sayonara are the only Oscar-nominated performances for both actors. Red Buttons was a devoted father to his children, Adam and Amy, with his wife, Alicia. His career as an actor spanned several decades and he left a lasting impact on the film industry. His performance in Sayonara is particularly memorable and remains a classic to this day. Red Button, born Aaron C.H. Watt, was an American actor and comedian known for his unique style and approach to his work. He began his career in show business as a saxophonist and singer in the 1930s before turning to comedy and acting. Buttons had a distinct comedic style that often involved self-deprecating humor and character-based jokes. He was known for his ability to create memorable and endearing characters, often playing Everman figures with whom audiences could easily identify. One of the things that set Buttons apart from his contemporaries was his commitment to his craft. He was known to spend hours rehearsing and refining his performances, always striving for perfection. This dedication to his work was evident in the quality of his performances and the lasting impact they had on audiences. Button's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. 
he was a first-generation American, and his experiences as a child of immigrants informed his comedy and acting. He often played characters who were struggling to find their place in the world, and his performances were imbued with a sense of empathy and understanding. In addition to his work in comedy and acting, Buttons was also a talented singer and dancer. He often incorporated these skills into his performances, adding an extra layer of entertainment value for his audiences. Overall, Red Buttons was a unique and talented performer who left a lasting mark on the world of entertainment. His commitment to his craft, distinctive comedic style, and ability to connect with audiences made him a beloved figure in the industry. Red Buttons holds the record for being the oldest guest to appear on Dennis Miller Live at 80 years, 6 months, and 1 day old. He is best known for his role as Joe Kelly in the 1957 film Sayonara, for which he won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar. This film is notable for being only the third to win Oscars for both supporting actor and actress, with Miyoshi Yumiki also receiving an award. In the 1962 film Hatari, Red Buttons played the character Pockets. During the filming of a scene, a leopard approached Buttons and co-star John Wayne while they were playing cards outside. When Buttons pointed out the leopard, Wayne famously replied, see what he wants. This anecdote highlights the camaraderie and relaxed atmosphere on set during the making of the film. Red Buttons, the legendary actor, made significant contributions to the entertainment industry. His unique comedic timing and expressive performances left a lasting impact on storytelling. Industry experts recognize his ability to bring humor and depth to his characters, influencing trends in comedy and drama. Many actors and filmmakers have been inspired by Red Button's work, learning from his masterful techniques and dedication to his craft. His influence can be seen in the way performers approach roles and connect with audiences, setting a high standard for authenticity and emotion in storytelling. Overall, Red Button's legacy continues to shape the industry, reminding us of the power of a skilled actor to captivate and move audiences. His ability to seamlessly blend humor and heart in his performances has left an enduring impact on the world of entertainment. Red Buttons, born Aaron C.H. Watt, adopted his stage name while working as a singer-waiter at Denny Moore's Tavern in the Bronx. His uniform had 48 buttons, and with his red hair, people began calling him Red Buttons. Two films that he appeared in, Sayonara and The Longest Day, were nominated for Best Picture Oscars. In The Poseidon Adventure, Red Buttons played Martin, and several cast members, including Red Buttons and Stella Stevens, appeared in various DC Comics productions. Roddy McDowell and Shelley Winters played supervillains on the 1966 Batman TV series, while Gene Hackman played Lex Luthor in Superman the movie, Superman Roman II, and Superman for the Quest for Peace. Red Buttons, born Aaron C.H. Watt, was a well-known actor and comedian who lived a life outside of the spotlight that was just as interesting as his on-screen persona. He was a family man who cherished his time with his wife and daughter. In his personal life, he was known for his humility, kindness, and love for animals. Buttons had a deep appreciation for the arts, which was reflected in his work. He was not only an accomplished actor, but also a talented singer and dancer. His passion for the arts extended beyond his own career, as he was a strong supporter of arts education and often donated his time and resources to various arts organizations. One of the causes that Buttons was most passionate about was supporting the military and veterans. He often performed for troops both at home and abroad and was a lifetime member of the American Veterans Organization. He also donated generously to various veterans charities and was a vocal advocate for their rights and benefits. Buttons was also known for his philanthropic efforts in his community. He was a generous supporter of various charities and causes, including those focused on animal welfare, children's health, and education. He often donated his time and resources to help those in need, and was always willing to lend a hand to those who needed it. In summary, Red Buttons was not only a talented actor and comedian, but also a kind and generous person who cared deeply about his family, the arts, the military, and his community. His personal values and interests were reflected in his work and his philanthropic efforts, and he will be remembered not only for his contributions to the entertainment industry, but also for his kindness and generosity.
Red Buttons, a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Actors Branch, is best known for his role as Joe Kelly in the 1957 film Sayonara. His portrayal earned him the Best Supporting Actor Oscar, making him the only winner in the eight categories that the Bridge on the River Kwai lost at the Academy Awards. Buttons' impact on the film industry extended beyond his Oscar win. He made a special appearance at the 70th Annual Academy Awards in 1998, and again at the 75th Annual Academy Awards in 25. During these appearances, he participated in the Oscar winner's tribute sequence alongside other Academy Award winners. Red Buttons' contributions to the world of acting have left a lasting impression, and his work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences today. Red Buttons, an accomplished actor, left behind a rich legacy in the entertainment industry. Known for his comedic timing and dramatic depth, he made a significant mark in both television and film. His work continues to inspire aspiring professionals in the field. For those starting their journey, Red Buttons would likely advise them to stay true to their passion and continuously hone their craft. He might emphasize the importance of adaptability as the industry is always evolving and the ability to navigate these changes is crucial. Moreover, Red Buttons would likely highlight the value of resilience and persistence. The path to success is often filled with obstacles and rejections, but with determination and a strong belief in one's abilities, these challenges can be overcome. Lastly, Red Buttons might remind aspiring professionals to maintain their integrity and authenticity. By staying true to themselves and their values, they can build a lasting career and make a meaningful contribution to the industry. Red Buttons, an actor with a liberal political stance, played the character of Sailor in the film They Shoot Horses, don't they? The movie's cast also included Jane Fonda, Gig Young, and Susanna York, all of whom were either Oscar winners or nominees. In the film Hatari, Red Buttons took on the role of Pockets, but later expressed regret over a line he felt was homophobic. These details, along with other aspects of his life, and career can be found in the book Who's Who in Comedy by Ronald L. Smith on pages 80-81. Red Buttons, born Aaron C.H. Watt, was a passionate and innovative actor who left an enduring impact on the entertainment industry. He began his career in the 1920s as a child performer, singing and dancing on the streets of New York City. Buttons' big break came in the 1940s when he started working in vaudeville and on the radio. In the 1950s, Buttons made the transition to television and became a household name with his own variety show, The Red Button Show. He was known for his comedic timing, rubber face, and ability to play a wide range of characters. Buttons' talent for making people laugh earned him several Emmy Awards and a place in the hearts of audiences everywhere. In addition to his work in comedy, Buttons also had a successful career as a dramatic actor. He won an Academy Award for his role in the 1957 film Sayonara and received critical acclaim for his performances in Hatari and The Longest Day. Button's passion for entertainment and his innovative spirit helped to shape the entertainment industry. He was a trailblazer who paved the way for future generations of performers. His enduring impact can still be felt today and his legacy continues to inspire and entertain. The power of creativity and perseverance is evident in Red Button's journey. He faced many challenges and setbacks throughout his career, but he never gave up. Instead, he continued to innovate and push the boundaries of what was possible. His story is a testament to the power of following your dreams and never giving up, even when the odds seem stacked against you. Let's take a moment to talk about the late, great Red Buttons, an accomplished actor who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. With a career spanning decades, Red appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his comedic and dramatic talents. Some of his most memorable roles include his Oscar-winning performance in Sayonara, as well as his work in Hattori and The Longest Day. On television, he starred in his own variety show, The Red Button Show, and had a recurring role in her. Red's contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences of all ages. His work has left a mark that resonates with many, and his legacy is still felt today. We would love to hear your thoughts on Red Buttons and his impact on the entertainment industry. Share your memories and favorite performances in the comments below. 
And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. Together, let's keep the legacy of Red Buttons alive and remember the joy and laughter he brought to so many.